can't see it. Nothing? Couldn't see where it went. Take a couple of shots. I saw it leaves in the back fly. This is a Weatherby um, Mark V Vanguard 300. Uh, my dad's had this since early 90s, late 80s. I've never shot it. This is my first four shots. Actually, I was expecting a lot more recoil because uh, I'm about to the brass here. This compared to a 3030. Pretty big round. Uh, these are my dad's home loads. Uh, this is the first season we can use rifles out here for deer season, so uh, gonna go practicing and see what we can do. But um, I was expecting a lot more kick. But uh, I gotta do more. I haven't done a lot of scope hunting at all, so I'm gonna have to practice that as well. This is expensive as heck to shoot. It's going to cost me a small fortune to get ready for the season. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to walk out and see how I did now. This is my father in law's uh, 3030 Winchester. I remember looking it up years ago, and I think it's an early 80s vintage, if I remember right. Um, and he says he's never shot it either. <laughs> so we haven't had much use for him out here. This is the first season we get to, uh, to use rifles. My dad picked up the, the Weatherby for hunting out east, uh, where rifles have been allowed for, for decades. Um, but uh, I haven't had any use for it because you can't use them out. You couldn't use them out there until just this year. But uh, comparison of the two rounds, it's a 3030. 
on the left, 170 grain, and Weatherby 300. I believe they're 180 grain uh, bulls, but I could be wrong. My dad hand loaded those um, a long time ago. So, and what I got left in the box is what I got until I go buy some. They about 25, 30 rounds. Um, but uh, yeah, the Weatherby. I think I looked this up too, and it was an early 80s vintage with a Leopold scope on it. I haven't done a lot of scope shooting at all. Um, I'm a mostly open sights guy, um, so it's gonna take me a little bit to uh, dial in. My four rounds, three hit high into the left, um, but this is probably sighted in. We're shooting at right around 78 yards, basically 80 yards. Uh, I believe we probably sighted in probably 100, 150 yards probably. Um, uh, the Weatherby 300 has a very flat trajectory, so probably the 150 yard mark seems more accurate. I have one low right, um, but I was shooting high into the left. Um, all uh, the three up to the left were about two inches high and three inches left, just uh, on the edge of the paper. So I need to get some bench time in and uh, on a more steady sitting area to see how the scope, because it's been banged around the safe for years. And that's it, so the scope might be a little bit off. Um, the other one, open sights only. Um, in order to put a scope on that, you'd have to take the the uh, open sights off and put a you know, drill and tap. Anything make a kit you can get for these um, for putting the scope on the top. But it's going to mount forward because of the way the brass ejects. But uh, I'm still probably going to take the shotgun out. Um, you know, I'm more comfortable with that if it gets to the third week of the season. And I, and I haven't gotten a deer yet, I'll probably take the, the shotgun out. But I think this year I'm going to start the season off with uh, the Weatherby and uh, the 44 um, if, they get, if they're close. You know, if they're 25 feet away, which is what I got my month last year at, the uh, 44 is a much better choice for deer hunting. Um, but uh, I, I was surprised. I expected more recoil out of the Weatherby than, uh, than I got there. Um, that, wasn't, that wasn't so bad. I've been afraid of this gun for years. <laughs> it's been sitting in my safe. Um, very nice, very nice gun. Very pretty, and it's got its share of marks. My dad used it, um, so the finish isn't perfect, but uh, you know it's a it's a tool. So if you're not willing to to get your tools dirty, there's no point really in owning them. But now we're gonna go uh, do other cabin projects. But I just want to take some time and do some shooting, and uh, if the weather holds up, maybe we'll do some more later. But while it's holding out now, we better get our projects done outside that we got.